create an off-site book manager system, you need two things, a USB stick and a laptop. You can do it using your network, but we oftentimes recommend just using a USB stick because it's simpler. So your first step is to determine which drive letter will be assigned to your USB stick. So pop that stick in your computer and you'll oftentimes either get a pop-up in the bottom right hand side of your screen or the window will just open. This will show you the contents of your USB stick plus the drive letter assigned to it. So you can see the drive letter up top here, so Trevor D colon, or down here on the left in your quick search menu. You can also see D colon. So make note of that because we'll need that to make the copy. If this window doesn't automatically open up, you can also click the manila folder down at the bottom of your screen. So this little folder here will open up your file browser and here you can click on this PC and this will also show your USB stick. So again, Trevor D. It's also good to hover over this drive to make sure that you've got some free space. So you can see that I have 24 gigabytes of free space and when you're making an offsite copy, you should probably have at least a few hundred megabytes of free space. Maybe 200 is a good safe point. You don't need gigabytes, you just need, again, about 100 or 200 free megabytes and you should be good to go. So with some free space and the drive letter noted, we can close this. We don't need to worry about it right now. Going into Book Manager, we go into D for Data Transfer. And then we can go down to option O for Offsite Book Manager. In here, you have a few options, but you just want the first option, create an off-site point of sale system. So if I press enter on this option, it's then gonna bring us to the setup screen. Here it's asking you for a station number. This number is usually arbitrary, but keep it the same as you used last time, because then it will remember all your station preferences, like if you had a printer hooked up or colors or that sort of thing. So I like to leave it as the last station that was selected. Here it's asking you which group number you wanna record sales under. This is to separate it from your regular sales in your main system. So oftentimes when you're doing an offsite system, you want to see your sales separated from your regular store sales. By default, the system usually has 99 here, so you can leave it as 99. Otherwise, choose another number, but just choose anything besides say 00, which is usually the default used for your regular sales. Invoice number to start from is a way to ensure your off-site sales are imported back into your main system after your current day's sales. So the idea here is to choose a number that is roughly about the same amount of sales as you will do in a day. So the system will estimate this for you. In this case, it's saying, you know, I should do about 806 invoices today at Mosaic. So I'm gonna advance our invoice numbers for the off-site copy by this amount. So they fall after today's sales. What you need to keep in mind is if you were doing an offsite that is a few days away, so today is Tuesday, but say my offsite is on Friday, I need to take into account those days. Just estimate the amount of sales or invoices you're going to do between now and when you get back and import your offsite. Again, you can estimate high, so if I've got four days to do, I would say maybe 3,200 I'd type in here. The trick here is just not to go too low or to go way too high, so I wouldn't put 10,000 in here. And I also wouldn't put a thousand and be that conservative. So just a rough ballpark number is good to go. And that's all you need. So this next area here, create system and drive folder is where we put in that drive letter that we noted before. So in this case, I'm gonna put in D colon. The next option here, remove existing files first, we'll go through and find any other previous book manager offsite folder or folders and remove it from the drive before we continue. Usually you can just say no to this option, but again, if you're reusing a stick you've used for uh, Offsite Book Manager before, you can say yes to this just to clear it out. Either way, it doesn't really hurt it um, if you say no to this or yes to this. This option here, co copy pubstock file, is basically wondering if you would like to be able to check your pubstock, hit the comma key while you're at this offsite event. Please note that you cannot make orders when you're at an offsite event. So any orders, any over ordering done on your offsite book manager will not be brought back into the system, your main system. So really it's for information purposes only. You may be at an event where you just need to say, yes, we can order this, but you can't actually make an O for order. So most oftentimes we're saying no to this option because it, the pub stock file is large and this will add a few minutes to the whole process of making your offsite copy. So it's better just to say no to this again, unless you want to check pub stock. 
With all these options configured, you can now hit page down to start the copy. It's going to say, ready to create the off-site system. It is best not to do sales on other stations. This is kind of an older message. I usually just, regardless of whether I'm doing sales or not, just say yes. It's going to go through now and copy the system. And whether this takes 30 seconds or a few minutes, it all depends on your, your network speed and how big your book manager system is. So hang tight while it makes the copy. And eventually when it's all done and, and it did it correctly, it'll let you know. When the offsite copy is completed, it'll give you a message at the bottom of the screen telling you that it has been successfully created on drive, the drive letter you specified. So you can press any key to continue. This will bring you back to the main data transfer menu in Book Manager. It's a good idea just to check your, your USB stick to make sure it made the copy. So this is where I go back to the Manila folder at the bottom of your screen, your file explorer. This is where you can click on this PC and double click on the drive. Here you should have something called BM Offsite. So whether you've got other files in here or not, it doesn't matter. You should be able to see, find your BM Offsite folder. It should also have today's date on it. If you didn't remove an existing offsite, this date may be incorrect. So a real way to check to make sure this copy is completely up to date is to open it up and have a look for your DAT POS file or any of the DAT files really for that matter. But looking for the DAT POS file here, this will tell you the most recent, uh, when the most recent changes were made to your point of sale. So this is showing 0328 uh, at 1144 PM. And so that was last night was the last time it was changed. You know, it's now eight in the morning. Our bookstore hasn't opened yet. So I know, okay, this is the most current. It would have been as most current as of last night. So this fi uh, folder is all good and up to date. So from here, we can now safely remove this drive. To do that, we can right click on the D drive here and select eject. That's one way of doing it. Another way is to go down into your system tray down here in the bottom right. Click there, find the safely remove hardware and eject media button. And then you can click on that and say eject USB 3.0 for Trevor D. That will also eject it. So there's multiple ways to get this thing safely removed from your computer. When you get the go ahead from your system, you can now pop the drive out. At this point, you now want to copy this BM offsite folder onto your laptop. So you'll now boot up your laptop and then pop the USB stick into your laptop. Once again, on your laptop, you'll want to open up this USB stick and this can be done using the file explorer or if you get a little auto prompt in the bottom right. Either way, you want to open up this drive letter and it may be different. It may, your laptop may call it E drive or G or something besides the other one. It doesn't really matter, it's all the same. What you're looking for is that BM offsite folder and what you wanna do is right click it and choose copy. From here, you wanna paste the BM offsite folder onto your hard drive. You never want to run your book manager offsite off the stick because if the stick gets unplugged or bumped or has an error, you could lose your sales. So we always recommend you take the BM offsite folder from your stick, copy it, and now we're gonna go into your local disk C. And here you can right click on any white space. So don't right click on any other folder here. Just choose a white space, either here or here. Just right click and choose paste. If you already have a BM offsite folder on this hard drive, so example here, we've already got one here and if I right click and choose paste, it'll prompt, it'll come up with a prompt saying the destination has 68 files with the same names. In this case, you just wanna choose the option, replace the files in the destination. And it'll go through and overwrite your existing offsite book manager folder. From here, you are now good to go. You can open up your BM offsite folder and you can sort the files by name and on top of it you're going to have a bkmngr.exe. This is the file you need to double click on to open up your offsite book manager. So double click that file. It may pop up with a firewall issue. You can just say allow access and then it's going to re-index the system. This re-indexing may take 10 seconds, it may take two minutes. It all depends on how big your, your current point of sale system is. In Mosaic's case, we have a lot of years of history in sales, so it's gonna take a, a minute or so for us to complete.
Once it's done re-indexing, your offsite system is ready to go. It'll say offsite POS at the top, so you know you're in the right you're on the right track if it says offsite POS. If it just says your regular store name without that, something has gone awry. So you may want to look at copying it again. If the system doesn't re-index itself, so you double click it and it opens up and it doesn't go through that re-index screen, also something may have not gone right and you may want to start by start the process again by copying the BM offsite folder onto the hard drive again. You can also go into the four for point of sale and press the home key until you get to the most recent historical sale to make sure that your system is up to date. We can see the last thing that was done was March 28th at 6.02 p.m. That makes sense. So this is obviously our most recent offsite backup. If our most recent historical entry was from months ago, maybe the last time we did an event, we'd know, oops, we made a mistake making the copy. At this point, you're ready to go, ready to make some sales. When you're all done doing your sales, you can now transfer your sales automatically back to your main system without the use of your USB stick. This is a fairly new feature that a lot of stores don't take advantage of. That USB stick is really only used for the initial copy. Otherwise, if you have an internet connection on your laptop, again, you can be at a hotel, you can be anywhere. As long as you have an internet connection, you can transfer your sales automatically back to your main system without using the stick. To do that, when you're in the point of sale, you do an M for miscellaneous. Here, you total your sales just like normal. You'll have the option total offsite sales and create export data. Press enter on this option. Keep the group number the same, so 99. It'll look at what you are currently doing in your offsite, so don't change this number. And you can press page down here. It's then gonna bring up a upload file to your main system, internet must be available option. This is where you wanna hit yes to this. If you have an internet connection, whether you're even at your store, you can just say yes. This will again, make it a little bit easier. You won't have to use the USB memory stick. So you put Y in this field and leave this next field blank. You can put the drive letter here of a USB stick if you want a little backup. You can put in D colon or whatever your computer has assigned, or you can leave it blank. If you leave it blank, the system will automatically make a copy of the offsite sales to the BM offsite folder. So you do have a backup in case something goes wrong. But most times if you've got an internet connection, just say yes and then hit page down. It will then bring up a transfer screen and it will say uploaded offsite to your main system. You can press any key to continue. So it'll also say totaling and clearing POS completed. At this point, we can now close down your offsite book manager on your laptop and go to your a computer on your main store. If you didn't transfer your sales electronically to your main system, it'll be on your USB stick. So let's have a look. We can go into your file explorer, go into this PC and look at my D drive and you will have a zipped file called off and then a number. So this is the file you're looking for. So we need to now safely remove your USB stick and insert it into your main system and we can do the import there. So open up Book Manager uh, on any of your stations in your main store and this and we're going to go to the same area that we originally created the offsite. So that's D for data transfer. Under D we're going to go down to O for offsite book manager and instead of creating an offsite system we're going to import sales from an offsite point of sale file. Here, by default, it inserts EDI backslash off. This is the folder that electronically transferred offsite sales will go to. So all you really need to know is instead of typing anything in this field, just press enter. If an internet connection was unavailable and you had to transfer your sales back to your USB stick, instead of pressing enter on EDI slash off, you're gonna type in the drive letter of the USB stick. In this case, it was D, so I can type in D colon and press enter. Here it's gonna list all your, your past and current offsite sales. Anything that has been previously processed will have done appended to the end. So you don't need to worry about these. And all I'm looking for is the one that doesn't have done or it's on the top of the list. You can look at the date to get a better idea to make sure this is the right file you're looking for. Press enter on the file you wanna use. You can then use your arrow keys to review the sales to make sure this is the correct offsite import you'd like to use. This looks about right. I only did a few sales in my test. So you can press escape to continue. 
gonna ask, proceed with the offsite. You can say yes. It's gonna go through an import. If you added any new customers while you were creating offsite sales, it will also import those. And when you're all done, you can press escape to finish. It's gonna say import complete, and then it's gonna ask if you wanna add a copy of this activity to your log. You can just say yes to be safe. If something went wrong, we can sometimes use this log to figure out what went wrong. At this point, your sales have been added to your point of sale. So we can go into four for point of sale, and those sales will now appear under group 99, so separate from your regular sales. Here, you can either leave the sales in the system until the end of day, at which time they will be totaled with your regular sales grouped together, or if you wanna keep them separate, you can total them right now. You can also make changes at this point. If you need to make changes to any of these sales, you have to switch the group number, and that's a little bit more of an advanced feature. So I'd say if you need to make changes to these sales, try to do it before you do the transfer or give us a call and we'll give you a hand with that. Otherwise, when you're ready to total your sales for the offsite, it's totaled just like normal. M for miscellaneous, then you can go down to total sales. You can choose a printer, open cash drawer, we can say no. And this is the key, totals for group number, this is where you wanna put in the group that you're doing at your offsite. So I'm gonna do 99. At this point, you can page down and it will total your sales and create a sales tape just like normal. At this point, the sales are in the system, they're done. You've got a separate sales tape that is now saved. So if you go down to your view print receipt tapes, you will now find that you have a sales tape for that offsite event. Oftentimes it'll come in as an A or a B to separate it because you may have two sales tape for the same day. So that is how the system kind of separates them by either putting an A or a B at the end to show you've got an A tape and a B tape for the same day. Lastly, if your internet connection was unavailable and you went to transfer onto your USB stick and that also seemed to fail, there's one last thing you can check. When you do an offsite system and you total your sales, Book Manager will create a backup copy. So you can check your offsite Book Manager folder to see if the files have been moved there. Where you want to look is in your file browser and you want to go back to the computer that you were doing your offsite Book Manager on. So in this case, I was working on my laptop's hard drive. So back onto your laptop's hard drive, you want to find your BM offsite folder. Within this folder, you're going to have other folders called EDI and EDI2. If we have a look in the EDI folder, we can see that it will save a copy of your existing BM offsite copies. So one of these will be probably the one you're looking for. You can take one of these files or both and copy them and put them back onto a USB stick to transfer manually into your system. Before you import, you'll have a chance to look at the contents to figure out which one was the offsite you were working on. But oftentimes, if it's just one offsite you've been doing, you'll probably have one file to copy. So again, this is a way that if both those other methods, the internet and your USB stick method fail, you'll have a backup in the EDI folder of your BM offsite.